This time on the Sisu Van build, we are establishing the final shape of our custom van topper by doing the OSB sheathing and rounding our corners with aluminum flashing. After walking on my first piece of roof plywood, I noticed a bit of sagging on the sides, so I bolstered my framing by adding a few extra pieces to ensure that my roof would be as solid as possible. All right, here on top of the van. Got two sheets in of sheathing for the roof. I know OSB seems like an odd choice for an application like this, and believe me, it felt even weirder securing it in place, but the logic still stands from our last video. The wood is just there as a placeholder for our fiberglass, so as long as it's lightweight and easy to shape, I think we're going to be okay for this application. In the end, our fiberglass will supply all of the structure for our load cases, and the OSB will be completely hidden from the inside and out. Because of the curved nature of this topper, I had to end up putting a lot of relief cuts in the aluminum so that it would lay as smoothly as possible. Once you get your hands on this aluminum and get a feel for how it naturally wants to curve, rounding these corners is really not that bad using this thin sheet metal. With a lot of these complex roofline curves, there's really no better way to do it than trial and error. So you're going to end up doing a lot of trimming and fitting and trimming and fitting until you get something that is flush and works for your application. Dealing with these three pointed corners was one of the hardest parts of the build. An easy way that I found to do it was to use a couple of thin metal strips and staple or glue them in place one by one until you get the shape that you're looking for. Definitely not perfect at this stage, but once I get a couple coats of fiberglass mat on here, I'll be able to further sand and shape as required. Learn from my mistakes on this one. Do not swing a hammer anywhere near this aluminum. It's only going to end badly. On the front, I learned that a couple of vertical relief cuts goes a long way in shaping these thin metal strips. So that's it for this time guys. We now have the whole exterior shell of our topper established and we're ready to start throwing some fiberglass on this thing. The next step is so critical, it's where all of our strength comes from. I'm really going to take my time on the fiberglass video, so you're going to want to make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it. I also have a lot of stress tests planned and the entire interior build for this thing is not yet done. So make sure you subscribe, you're not going to want to miss it.